Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy's Cookbook Exotic Meats Edition. Today we are cooking wild boar. It is not the most exotic of the exotic meats, but I mean, it's a bit different from your normal pig. I mean, it looks nothing like pork. Uh, I would thought it would look a lot more like pork. But I am going to cook this as if it was pork. I'm going to do it with a cider, a fatchers, we have to get the fatchers out in it. A fatchers and sage and honey sauce and some potatoes and a bit of kale, real simple. I'm going to get on with this, so I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, usual rule of thumb, I always cook what's going to take the longest first, just to be logical. So I've got these uh, salad potatoes, they're like baby new potatoes, they will do. Uh, you see that, I just chopped the top off, it's cool. Um, right, so all I'm going to do, um, so it doesn't take too long to cook, I'm going to chop them up into chunks. Have a nice salt and pepper, and some oil. I'm going to get that in the top of them, ASAP. Okay, so I've got a few potatoes, nicely seasoned. I'm going to pop this uh, in here. Now, for probably, no, it's not me, uh, clean your ovens. Don't be like me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that in the oven for about 20 minutes and uh, come back and check it and then get on with the rest. So we'll catch you there. Right, so the potatoes have been in for about 20 minutes. I'll give them a shake up. They're looking good, of course. This is a crazy good book. But uh, this is the wild boar. I mean, it's, you know, frozen meat again, defrosted. So it's, it's all got a bit of a red texture. It looks a bit, now I'm taking out the packet, it looks a little bit more like pork tenderloin. But it's still quite red and, and dark. Um, I'm going to put it into the griddle pan. That's really hot. So just to give you an idea. No. I'm going to slap these on here. Just get some lines in them. We're going to cook that, I'd say about three minutes, four minutes on that side. Flip it over and give it another couple of minutes. And I'm going to put that in with some butter and some garlic and some rosemary. And um, then I get on with the sauce and everything else. It'll be good. You ain't gangster man, you all legal like weed at an Amsterdam You ain't Scarface, Al Capone or Frank Now according to my body clock, uh, that's been four minutes So, let's have a look Oof, okay, it's got some nice lines in it And it looks like it's getting, yeah, a bit whiter it Smells like pork to be fair A bit more gamey Now, uh, with these exotic meat ones I mean, I've not really tried a lot of these exotic meats a lot. I've had, um, I had wild boar quite a long time ago and I've had wild boar sausages. And um, they were nice from what I can remember. But, you know, just so I could describe it properly for the camera, I'm going to be cooking it like a steak. I'm not going to be going too elaborate on the cooking with it. So yeah, I just, you know, I want to try it out and see what it's like for you guys. Okay, I've got this garlic, uh, it's quite a lot, but we love garlic. I'm going to put that in the pan to cook down with some butter. I'm going to get that in there, and when that melts, I'm going to spoon that over the top of the, the pig. It should be good. Alright, that's had another two minutes uh, on the other side. I don't want to overcook it because I want it to be nice and tender still. But I'm going to let it rest now in the butter on a very, very low heat with the garlic. And I'm going to let that rest for a good 5 10 minutes, I think, when we start the rest. Now the plug wants his pee back and ain't being civil Says he wants that shit quickly, you get end up crippled That's the road life, is fuckery Don't take part if you ain't prepared There's ups and downs, shit goes off but I ain't never scared Flag of snakes and ladders, man, they're moving parasitical This is where we introduce the second star of the show uh, The Thatcher's Gold I am gonna pop that off Oh yeah, that's a fire in Get the camera on as well, pop them off And uh, so I'm gonna pour it in here first The reason I do this first it's because it cooks off the alcohol. Um, believe it or not, I managed to do this to get drunk. This is just because, you know, it tastes good as a sauce. Um, but yeah, that's cooked down. Now I'm going to add some chicken stock. Nice and simple. Get this going in. Some honey. We're going to take the edge off and make it sweeter. I'm just going to put a one spoon of honey in there. Also, for that, I've got some fresh sage. This, uh, you know, it's usually associated with pocket sage. So I'm having a go, let's try it out and see how it comes out. I think it's going to be good. So I'm going to slap a few of them in there. Take the leaves off the top. 
And let's hope that that makes the sauce taste nice. I'm joking, I know it tastes nice. Come on. Names and the sly little bitches are bitches to play games. You ain't made for this, stay in your lame lanes because these kids. Right, a couple more things I want to add, okay? I have uh, apple cider vinegar. Again, no other reason than it's just apple with what I'm not going to you know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to get a bit of that in there. So that should give it a bit more sharpness as you don't really have that in the patches, although you've got the nice sweet apple taste in it. Now, one thing I would usually put in this sauce is. Um, some sort of cream or creme fraiche or something like that. I don't have it. So, a little splash of milk will do because I'm going to reduce it down. You have to trust me on this one to make the sauce nice. But we don't want to go too much of it. I'm not a big fan of milk. You know, it comes out of cow's nipples. I know if I was in the wild, I would definitely go get myself a steak and I would not be there playing with his nipples with them. But you know, he's to the world. If that's what you're into and you're an animal titty fucker, you go, go. That's you. Okay, for veg, I've got some uh, boiling water in the back. I'm just going to get some of this cow. I'm going to slap that in there and let that cook down for a piece. Uh, it doesn't take that long to do, but you have got some thick stems in there as well, so you do want to make sure that I have cooked through. So I just, I get these bits and I just throw them out. You know, nasty. Alright, so that's starting to come to the consistency that I want for this. I'm going to get a little bit more sage. I'm going to chuck a few more leaves in there, just so it's got the fresh sage taste. So our potatoes are cooked, our kettle is cooked, our sauce is cooked, and our wild boar is cooked. That can only mean it is time to play it up. Rumble lines, think riddles. Stand by vehicle, moving through cheap like diddle. Spoke to my dogs, just like dogs do little. Find out where you stash the ting and then run up with a sickle. Tried your luck, got no down like skittles. Now you're stuck, fuck without a pot for your piddle. Now the plug wants his key back and ain't being civil. Says he wants that shit quickly, you can end up crippled. That's the world life, is fuckery. So, here it is. We have our wild boar, yeah? Now, I'm gonna cut that straight open. It's got a teeny little bit of pink in there. Now, apparently that's okay with Bob War. It's not going to make you beat and butt you off or nothing like that. It's not going to make you squeal boy or nothing like that, but... but that's really good. Mm. Right, so that was a bit of a tough fair pork tenderloin. That's it. Um, my sauce is amazing. I'm telling you now, yeah? That sauce is a thing of beauty that should be bottled and sold. Um, I mean, obviously, they're, they're bottled in factors already. But, oh, well. Wow. That. Gonna wash it down with video factors. But look, I mean, I don't want to go too much. Look at it. It's really good, you know? Um, yeah, making the meal a cool mashup, but. Look, I cook a meanwhile boar steak. That's what we figured out, yeah? Um, now look, thank you for watching another episode. Uh, it was delicious, I highly recommend it. Uh, was it as good as crocodile and ostrich? I'd say crocodile's still my favourite. I'd say it's about equal with ostrich, it's as good. Um, if you like pork, you're going to love this. If you don't like pork, it's a pig, why are you eating wild boar? You probably should do it. Um, thank you for watching the episode. <laughs> um, now there is a subscribe button down there, yeah? We need subscribers, yeah? If you haven't subscribed yet, I'm asking you please, can you go and press that button now? Done it? Like now, now. Like, you know, just that safe. Also, there's a video popping up here and there, yeah? If you can watch them, that's the, the, the previous ones we've done. Some good stuff on there, I hope you enjoy it. Also, check out the, the jerk chicken wing uh, fizzy drink glaze championships that we're doing. That's hilarious, yeah? But enjoy, and thank you for watching another episode of Crazy Scott Book.